everybody, AD Jackson 330 here, and today I'm going to be doing a really quick, super easy tutorial on some fun things that you can make using the digital art and papers that are included in every month's Villa Beautiful kit. Each kit that you pre-order comes with an email packed with coordinating design elements that can be used in so many different ways. Dashboards, die cuts, bookmarks, dividers, vision boards, the possibilities are endless. This is really easy to do, so I'll just show a couple of dashboards and a vision board. The website that I'll be using is Canva. It is a free online photo editing website, and it's linked in the description below, as well as the Villa Beautiful site, where you can find out all of the information on pre-ordering her monthly kits. And now on to the fun stuff. So when you bring up the Canva website, it's going to give you a lot of different design options. There are some pre-made sizes already. Um, you've got your social media icons, your YouTube icons, some different Facebook posts. However, I'm going to be using the custom dimensions option. And because I use a B6 number 5 traveler's notebook, I'm going to size it to 5 by 7. They've got some different sizing options, so I'm going to go with inches. That's going to open up a separate page. And this is where you will be doing all of your designing. Over on the left hand side there is an upload option. You can use the green button to add in new designs. I've already preloaded some of the background papers, patterns, and digital art images. So I am going to just choose one of those. I really love this vertical brush stroke pattern. And to start off with, I kind of want to pull out some of the more feminine fashion vibes of the kit. So I am going to use this pink t-shirt. I'm going to just be sizing it down, rotating it. These are all very basic editing maneuvers that I'm sure require no explanation for you all. Um, I'm going to add on some of the jeans and just kind of fit those to where they match the t-shirt over in the corner. And if you look on the top right hand side, there is an arrange button. And I'm going to use that to push the jeans behind the t-shirt. So the t-shirt is the element that stands out. And then because I love a good graphic tee, I am going to slap a little quote onto this shirt. I'm going to use the text option over in the left hand corner to write one of my favorite quotes, but first coffee. And then I'm going to resize and rotate the text just a little so that it lines up correctly with the angle of the t-shirt because who wants a wonky tee? And then if you look on this top toolbar, Canva has a ton of font options for you to choose from. One of my personal favorites to use is Brusher, uh, but there are tons of options, so it's all about just going through, trying out different fonts, different sizes, and seeing, you know, which one looks best for what you're going for. Um, that one's cute, but I have a different idea. I want to try one called Edo, I think is how you pronounce it, because it's kind of got the same brush stroke elements as the background that I used. Now up here in the top, you can adjust the transparency, so you can make it darker or lighter, and I thought it would look better on that shirt if it was just a little bit more transparent. And that's it for this one. It's pretty simple, but I actually love it. So I'm going to go up to the download button at the top, and it's got a few different options for what kind of format you want to save it in, if you wanted to have a transparent background. And it does take a minute sometimes to download, depending on how many elements you have and the size of it. And once that downloads, it's going to open up in a new window on your desktop and show you your finished product. And that's it. It is truly that simple. Now you are ready to control P to print it out on your cardstock, acetate, vellum, whatever it is that you want to print it out on. Cut it out. You're ready to go. You can add as many of these elements. You can throw them all on there if you want to, or you could keep it super simple. And that is the beauty of all of these different designs that Tiffany includes with her kits each month. You can make your entire planner lineup, no matter how many planners, how many different sizes you may have all fit this one monthly theme to coordinate with all the things that are included in the actual monthly kit, which is so great because you can also reuse these images over and over. A personal favorite thing of mine to do is to mix match all of the different months together. For example, this theme would go really well with some of the elements from the Me Time kit back in March or the Classy and Fabulous kit back in January because they both had a lot of the same neutral tones. And so now again, we're just playing around with the different dashboards here, rotating some backgrounds, adding on some of my favorite elements, and then really just having fun with it. I did delete a few options on here because they were either missing something or came out too busy. So you'll see me going back and forth with adding things in, removing them, rotating them. And that's another great thing about this is that you can just keep playing with it, keep editing until you make it just right. 
And the techniques that I'm using on here can be used for so much more than dashboards. I mean, the only reason that I'm showing those right now are because these settings were already loaded onto the website. But once you get the hang of it, it is so easy to change up the format. You can double the width to make it a foldable insert for your traveler's notebook. You could blow it up to make a cover for your Erin Condren or your Happy Planner. Or you could style it to be a framed art print to go on your desk. Or you could even shrink it down and make a few journaling cards. If you prefer to use the Silhouette software, I do have a few tutorials already made. One for stagger stack bookmarks and one for page markers. Those are all from last year, but you can find all of those under the Fun Stuff playlist on my channel. I use both to design. I will be working on some more tutorials, hopefully soon. I tend to use Canva more for dashboards, YouTube thumbnails, um, collages, things like that. And then I'll use Silhouette software for bookmarks, die cuts, Anything that is harder to cut out than a square or a rectangle, I'll use the Silhouette software. And the good thing about that is that it is another free download for that software. So it doesn't cost anything just to get it. You don't even have to have the machine to download the software. You can just design on it, print it out, and cut it out by hand, which is what I have been doing because I still have not opened the Silhouette that I got last year around Christmas time. I know, shameful. So back to the dashboards. On this one, I really love the design on it, and I wanted to add this quote that was also featured in the kit on one of their journaling cards. And it's kind of difficult with the different brush strokes trying to find a good font uh, that would show through as easily readable and still be cute, you know, and fit the aesthetic of it. Um, so I played around with some different fonts. I tried copying it um, to make a little drop shadow. And yeah, it didn't work out so well, but <laughs> I didn't want to edit that part out um, because, you know, it's okay if you mess up. It has a delete button for a reason. And it's okay to take your time and play around with it to make it exactly how you want it. So on this one, even though I tried a lot of different um, colors and fonts and sizes and shadows, it just ended up still feeling too heavy, too busy uh, with the quote added on. So I think that I will just come back to it later uh, with the same bottom elements and background and just leave the quote off of it for now. Sometimes less is definitely more. And then I will just move on to the next project. So this next project is going to be a vision board. These are really hot on Instagram right now. A lot of people are pulling their pictures off of Pinterest, which, you know, do you. But I'm going to be using all of the elements from the Simplicity Villa Beautiful kit. So you go over here to the left-hand side where it says layout, and you pick the layout that you want for your collage. It can be anything you want. I chose this one. I thought it looked pretty cool. And then you're just going to fill in each one of these little boxes with the patterns now, I did find out that it won't let you put a transparent image over that, so just a heads up on that one. But this is a really cool way to incorporate something that's really trendy in the planner community right now and all of the different items that you have on hand from the kit. So then it's all about just choosing which backgrounds you want to use and where you want them to be featured in your collage. And if you don't like the way it's turning out, you can always go back to layouts and switch the format up. You can rotate your patterns if you want them facing a different way. You can even incorporate some actual photos, maybe a selfie or another picture that you love that matches. The sky is the limit with these. So my idea behind the theme, I guess, of this vision board was to take my favorite design elements from the background. I love the brush strokes and the feminine details, but I'm not really so much into the abstract pattern, so I chose the one that best fit my style. And then I'm going to layer on some of the digital art. You can also throw some quotes on there, your Instagram handle, your name, a monogram, or, you know, wait till you print it out and then you could layer on actual things from the kit. You could throw on some washi tape on it or, you know, laminate it and then stick on your pin loop that was included from the kit. And I guess I could speed this part up so you're not having to watch me struggle over trying to rotate and resize and crop and adjust all of this stuff, trying to make it look absolutely perfect, you know, for my opinion. So let me just go ahead and speed this one up. Okay, that's better. So now that it's sped up a little bit, I'm just going to continue adding some design elements, moving things around. I loved those sunglasses, and I thought they were really chic and would look great on top of those brush strokes up there. I wanted to throw on a create quote, little text add on there, and a little text onto the shirt. And that does it for that one, so I'm just going to download that, wait for it to pop up, and it is ready to print, cut out, and stick into my planner. Okay, this next project is going to be a fun one. I love desk scenes, so I'm going to try to recreate one similar in style to the notepad, the sticky notes that were included with this month's kit. I loved those so much, and they had a huge white space in the middle. 
I'm going to kind of keep this one with the marbly background since I'm not going to be using it as a notepad so I don't really need that writing space. And so I'm just going to pick out the different flat lay elements that are available from this month's kit. We've got a succulent, we've got the tipped over purse, some lipstick, there's a cell phone, just a bunch of different items that would look perfectly in place on top of a desk. And I've never really felt the pressure of designing dashboards until I became intensely aware that every moment and mistake was being caught on the screen recording. So that's always fun. <laughs> but hopefully it's not too boring and it's giving you all some ideas maybe to play around and see what all you can create with these elements too. If you do, I would love to see them. Please tag me. I'm in the Facebook group. I'm on Instagram. I would love to see what you guys come up with. It really blows my mind the different variations that I see. The projects are just amazing. There are some beautiful creations posted both Facebook group and Instagram. So if you're not in that group already, be sure to join. There is a plethora of inspiration to be found in this community and it's one of my favorite parts of being a planner. I mean, I think that it is so cool that any two people provided with these same elements could create two wildly different projects completely different styles and it's just there's something for everybody and especially with these kits because Tiffany includes so much and just thinking off the top of my head I cannot pick out another company that will give you this amount of digitals that coordinate so well with the monthly kit every single month without fail like who else does that this is such an innovative idea for her business and for me, it's just fun. I really enjoy having all of these different elements available just right at hand, and I can rearrange them how I want and make so many different items. It's just fun to try and push myself and see what I can do different from last month. So for this next project, I want to make a more, I guess, feminine type dashboard. So I'm going to use some of the florals that were included. And I'm just going to layer those at the top. And then this third one, I'm going to push that over to the left-hand corner and then use the arrange button to slide it to the back behind the bigger, darker kind of floral arrangement. And then I'm going to add one of the fashion girls on there. But because she is so tall, I'm going to scoot her down and size her up a little bit and just kind of have the upper portion of her body scoot her over. And my idea behind this project is that it could be a cover for an insert specifically a notes insert so that means I would just print this out and print it over to the side instead of centered and cut it out long enough to be a foldable cover and I'm going to add the text in vertically instead of horizontally and I don't know I'm it's different but I kind of like it what do you guys think and you know you could do this with all of your different inserts if you wanted to make one that says daily or list to do you know whatever different categories you have in your planner you could make your own personal covers for those. Um, so now I'm just using the spacing tool to kind of adjust how far apart the letters are to make sure that they're even with the girl I used. And this is another one that was super quick really simple but it still came out really pretty I think. Okay one more project really quickly before I wrap this video up. This one is going to be another insert cover. I love this marbly background with all of the other different design layered on top of them. I thought that was a really neat design aspect. I'm going to lighten it just a little bit by adjusting the transparency and I'm going to make a playlist tracker. So this is going to be the cover of that. I love this phone with the headphones design and it was just perfect for that. Then I'm going to go to the elements and there are a lot of free elements you can find on Canva. Um, they'll say if they cost anything, so be sure to watch out for that. Make sure you do grab the free ones. I'm going to add this brush stroke. Obviously, it matches this aesthetic very well. And then add some text on there because I am a person who has a playlist for every different mood and activity between YouTube, Spotify, my phone. So it'll be nice to have just a physical copy of that. And this will be the cover that goes on those inserts. And I think that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, if I didn't explain something well enough, or if I sped it up too fast, please let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions or a request for another video you'd like me to make, I always love to hear those. Please be sure to share your creations in the Villa Beautiful Facebook group. I would love to see them. And don't forget to check out the description below for all the links and my discount codes. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.